you know, proud of the kids. It was a long day. You know, we had walkthroughs and meetings, and then a practice. I thought they uh, had good intensity, good effort, a uh, whole bunch of want to, which has been that way every every day since uh, we've been together. So I'm proud of them down those lines. Uh, it was kind of pretend football, uh, no pads on, and so you really get a, a good evaluation of the skill players. Uh, but I thought alignment, assignment, their ability to uh, you know the little things uh, execute for the most part was positive. Ball security was decent. I thought there were some contested balls that were uh, made some plays on offense, made some plays on defense, which was good to see out of the wide receivers and the DBs. And uh, I thought the offensive line for a new scheme and a defense that was moving around on a pretty good handle it well. So uh, proud of the young men overall as a group, just the way they uh, came out and practiced. And obviously, it's uh, very important to them. And I thought the coaches did a nice job of organizing a practice for the first day. There's a lot that goes into that. And uh, obviously, the kids and the coaches were very well prepared. Coach, how high are your hopes for what Melvin and James can do together in that backfield this year? Well, first of all, they're, they're unbelievably fun kids to be around. Their personalities, which you guys know uh, as well as I do, are, are, uh, are exciting. And, and you know, they're leaders. Uh, you can just see by the way they carry themselves in the locker room and their day-to-day -day lives that the, the team reaches out to those young men. And uh, you know, uh, that's impressive. Very good players. I'm excited to, to be able to see them you know, grow throughout spring. Put them in positions to, you know, build the offense around them and get the offensive line and the tight ends and fullbacks all firing on the same cylinder to get the, some creases for them. Because I know one thing: I'm standing back there today, and when those two kids hit that hole, there's a crease. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty quick coming through there. So and is I'm it excited more, about it. More of a speed game than maybe you got with Monte back when he was here. Last I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know, Monte ran pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> Monty ran pretty good. When I looked at what he run four or five something, four five one. Um, Monty's an unbelievable football player and a tremendous kid again. So uh, I wish they were all three here. That'd be perfect. <laughs> I think we all know what Everett Harris can bring to the table. Are you hoping for more out of the other wide receivers? Absolutely. Yeah, that's a, that's a big, big uh, point of spring practice. It's a point of emphasis for us as a staff. It's a point of emphasis for those kids. They want to succeed. They have a lot of want to in them. They're excited about that opportunity. Made a couple plays today. Um, you know, Jared made an unbelievable play. I think it was the first play of spring ball. He went up and got that one, the, the deep ball, which was a contested football. And, but we do need to be more productive at the uh, wide receiver position with the other kids. And it's our job as coaches to put them in those spots, and it's the job of the young men to uh, wrap their arms around the scheme and, and make those plays when the opportunity presents itself. And it's, it, uh, it'll happen. Gary, how did you find Coach Jack? Is it Janik? Is that how it's pronounced? Janik. Janik. Jeff, yeah. Um, well, it's, uh, it's interesting as you go through the processes uh, and Coach Ludwig, Andy, and uh, Jeff were together, obviously, at Cal. And, um, you know, we, we had, we'd communicated through the process early on with, with Andy, who was obviously one of the first people that I, that I hired. And, and Jeff's name was, was always in the mix. Um, and, uh, you know, the situation that we were in, it, it, I got him on the phone. It was uh, very clear to me that uh, what he brought to the table was impressive. And he's been a head coach. Ties, the guy can go on and on and on. But uh, so once I reached out to him on the phone, it was very easy for me to know that he was he was the correct fit. And he's got a lot of juice and energy and excitement. We saw that today. And he's coached special teams at the highest level. He's recruited at the highest level, and he's coached tight ends at the highest level. And he has a lot of care for the Midwest and, and for the Big Ten, and, and now for the University of Wisconsin. Given the difficulty of the timing of that hiring, do you feel like you bounced back pretty well? Or yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I feel like it's a, it's a very good fit. And very impressed with the way he's moved through very quickly. You want to talk about an accelerated process. And congratulations, you're hired. In four days, you got a special teams meeting and run practice, and you get, by the way, you got the tight ends too. So, in an offense that has you know, heavily involved tight ends. So, uh, it's been a whirlwind for him, and you know, I appreciate his efforts. He's done a great job, and they were well prepared today.